Okay, enough with this monster miner, which is a shark. I'm going to introduce to you a dolphin. What's up guys, welcome to another video. This is Charlie Lin. In the beginning of this video, I would like to give a million thanks to DJ Mines and Red Panda Mining for giving me a kind shout out in one of their latest videos concerning Intel graphics cards. I got it from my friend Charlie. He's also a YouTuber. Thank you to Mr. Charlie Lin, as well as DJ Mines. I appreciate that a lot. Just 10 minutes before I do this video, I was having a call with DJ Mines because I told him I'm going to do a new video and I wanted to listen to his opinions on what will happen next after the Ethereum merge because I want to give you more information and opinions for your reference. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to talk about Ethereum miners, Bitcoin miners, Litecoin miners, and Kadena miners. Starting with Ethereum miners, I don't think I need to remind you at all, but you will definitely agree today to buy an Ethereum miner is one of the hardest decisions to make because Ethereum merge is coming soon, perhaps around mid-September. Will the merge be pushed back again? Nobody knows, but probably not. So the risk in buying an Ethereum miner is really high because Ethereum will no longer be mineable. And some of you guys may say, that's not a problem, we can mine Ethereum Classic. However, if the massive hashing power migrates from Ethereum mining to Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Classic will be very difficult to mine. That means you will get very few ETCs coming out of this machine. And if the value of Ethereum Classic doesn't perform really well, your mining rewards won't be paying enough for your electricity bills. That means your machines probably will have to turn off. Okay, so we agree, buying one of these Ethereum miners is a big risk. But just in case, if you really have one of those, what are you gonna do? In biggest probability, you are primarily going to mine Ethereum Classic with it. Most people I talk to about Ethereum Merge are very pessimistic about the future, both on the future of the cryptos and also on the mining side of things. But in the meantime, according to opinions I hear from some of the professionals here in China, they believe there were probably new variants of Ethereum that's actually mineable, built on proof of work still. But what will be the future of the copycats of Ethereum? One of the optimists I meet here in China regarding these Ethereum miners thinks Ethereum Classic will probably go up to the moon. What would be the future if you buy one of these Ethereum miners? Nobody knows. The whole thing with the crypto and mining is a gamble. The sudden losses and the unexpected gains from time to time are exactly the fun part of it. When you decide to buy the cryptocurrency or start to mine, you're in a casino. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Once you take the risk, you deserve all the rewards and all the regrets. Okay, pretty much enough with the background analysis. Let me talk about Antminer E9 itself. Today, the price of a ready stock of E9 miner is very high. If you don't want to spend too much money on this miner, you can wait on the pre-orders delivered on August, September, and October. For the options of September and October, you can even book the miner with a small deposit. Okay, another concern with these E9 miners is that some people may be concerned that it cannot mine Ethereum Classic because there's a firmware lacking. Yeah, this works just fine on Ethereum, but not Ethereum Classic. So that sucks. Here's my opinion. I believe Bitmain is not gonna screw everybody. According to what I know, in the last month, there's a company called Antpool under Bitmain company. They invested $10 million into building the Ethereum Classic ecosystem. They are a big company. They will definitely launch a proper firmware to make ETC mineable. Just wait and see, but I'm very confident. Okay, enough with this monster miner which is a shark, I'm going to introduce to you a dolphin. This brand new miner is made by a manufacturer that even I don't know about. I'll probably get a clue a few days later. It's a Nithash miner that can mine Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Okay, this blue miner is said to have a hashing power of 600 mega hash and it consumes only 440 watts in terms of power. It's a really efficient miner. Aside from that, I believe this blue miner is really creative in terms of design because inside the miner, there's a flat water tank that helps with the cooling. Aside from that, it has two fans. As a result, this miner is very silent and very cool. I touched on the miner, it actually feels like a refrigerator. It is literally really cool. Okay, so the blue miner sounds a really cute option, but there are also concerns. We don't know if we can enjoy international warranty service as much as we can do with ant miners. For more information about this blue miner, I will keep you posted. Please stay tuned. Okay, the second miner I want to talk about today is Bitcoin miner. And I want to talk about ant miners and what's miners in particular. One of the biggest news is that the S90 XPs are finally available. They come in ready stock in forms of 141 terahash and 134 terahash. It's different than the original number of 140 terahash. As compared with the first day of its release, it's much cheaper. If you still want to save a little bit of money, you can wait on some of these pre-orders. 
However, you may expect some of these surprise hash rates. Okay, the next end mine I want to talk about today is S19 series. It's one of my favorites because I'm a Bitcoin maximist. It's also the best seller. The latest update with these S90 end miners is that it has come down again a little bit. My prediction in my last video was right. I said there will be more batches of these miners coming out so the price would come down. Okay, let's talk about what's miners. What's miners as compared with S19 end miners have not dropped much. So in this comparison, I suggest you you can buy some of these end miners instead of the what's miners because end miners are generally considered better quality and have better international warranty. Okay, the third miner today is a Dogecoin miner. In particular, I'm going to talk about end miner L7 9050 mega hash. Today, the price of this one of the best sellers in the past has come down a lot. The reason is simple. The second half of the year has come. There are more batches of L7 miners delivered. So there's a large supply. Today, you can buy an L7 end miner much cheaper from a distributor than from Bitmain itself. Make sure you don't miss out on this deal if this miner is really one of your favorites. Okay, the last miner I want to talk about today is Kadena miners. In particular, I want to talk about Gold Shell miners, including KD Max, KD6 SE, KD Lite, and KD Box Pro. Two weeks ago, the Gold Shell Kadena miners have come down a lot, but after one week, it has picked up again. But still, they are at a much better price than before. Aside from the price side of things, I want to give you a little bit of review on Gold Shell company as a whole. I'm going to be honest, I really think Gold Shell company, as compared with Bitmain, is a really small minded company. Some of these miners have big prices but the company is really small. Let me tell you why. I think Gold Shell's pricing strategy has screwed their customers and their distributors a lot. They keep launching new models of Kadena miners with a crazy discount. That's hurting their earlier customers and their earlier distributors a lot. I don't know what they're thinking. There is probably only one positive. Those newcomers would find these Kadena miners very easy to buy. If you're one of them, congratulations. Another reason why I'm saying Gold Shell is a small company is because in their latest delivery of KD Box Pro, they included a power supply inside the package that adds up the price. And we know these small power supplies are too expensive. Very few people want them. You can just buy one of these average, cheap computer power supplies to run some of these Gold Shell boxes. Okay, maybe this is pretty much for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.